Well, how's it going everyone? Bowie here from BZ Up, and today we've got something really special. We're having Dooley Ghost, the first, uh, the first moment I'm gonna be able to walk into this place. I wanted to start right here, give you, uh, give you the kind of idea of you coming into here the first time, and as usual, it's gonna do like the first mission kind of voiceover and that sort of thing, so if you want to skip through that, I totally understand. Uh, skip forward to, uh, this time? This time? Or look down... Uh, down below on the little line and you should see uh, something to skip forward to but let's stop talking hit the like button let's get into it everyone hello 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 I'm very happy to see you my friend <laughs> how are you uh, tired from the trip don't worry we have all the time in the world to enjoy the sights and sounds. You have chosen a perfect place for a vacation. I will show you a side of Finland that not many people know about. We might not know each other yet, but I think we will become great friends during your time here. <laughs> You were dropped off at the main camping site. This place is usually full of tourists and campers, but it's hunting season now, so we should have the reserve to ourselves. Go ahead and open the outpost. Ooh, nice little cabin here. Oh, a little bit of clipping there, but nice. Look, look, what is those? What are, what are those? They look delicious. All right, top notch. Well, this is a little look inside the cabin here, um, but yeah. I tell you what, everyone, I am pretty excited to get into all of this, but I know you have questions, and I've got answers, okay? When does this uh, new DLC release? Well, that answer is June 28th, 2022, uh, this year, obviously. Um, so look forward to it just in a few days, honestly, within a week. Uh, this game's going to be coming to you, and uh, by to you, I mean consoles and PC at the same time, everyone. There's no sort of waiting this time around. You're gonna be able to go uh, play on your console the same time as your friends on the PC or whatever. Though, of course, still can't play with each other. But uh, yeah, you're still gonna be able to talk about it with each other, eh? That, uh, that's pretty cool too. How much does this uh, DLC cost? Well, just like every other reserve, usually it's $7.99. So, fairly cheap, honestly. Eight bucks, that's like less than an hour of work for most people. Uh, so, fantastic, I think, anyway. New chapter in the Hunter Call of the Wild, and only costs you an hour of your life. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty positive thinking, right? I, I think. Ducks, 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 ducks. Now, who needs a recap on the animal species here in Reventuli? Because I got that too, everyone. As you all know, we've got 19 different species of Reventuli. Uh, Mallard, Eurasian Teal. Golden Eye, Tufted Duck, Eurasian Widgeon, Canadian Goose, Grey Lag Goose, uh, Bean Goose, Capricale, um, uh, Black Grouse, Willow Ptarmigan, Hazel Grouse, Rock Ptarmigan, Raccoon Dog, Mountain Hare, Whitetail Deer, Moose, Brown Bear, and the Eurasian Lynx, everyone. Not to forget the Eurasian Lynx, because uh, in this area specifically, they are everywhere, and they make the most annoying sounds, like a whining dog. Rock Ptarmigan? Hey, Rock Ptarmigan. I see him. He's fleeing. He's fleeing the scene. Oh, oh. Where's he going? Trying to see him through the trees. That's not gonna work. That's not gonna work. There he is. God, this is difficult. <laughs> okay, I see him. I see him. I see him. We might have got him. That time. Oh, we did get him. Good deal. Yeah, boys! I tell you what, these grouse and the Capricali alike so far have just been really a pain in the neck. <laughs> you, uh, you hope that they kind of sit, uh, like pheasants or something in Kansas, and that you can kind of come up with them and everything, like, no, they constantly run. And the only time you ever see them is when you kind of get close and you scare them and they they fly out. Uh, but you're never ready for them, <laughs> which is 
it's a kind of exciting, I suppose. But right on, our uh, uh, bicolor plumage, I'm assuming that that's normal, I guess. Uh, rock ptarmigan, everybody. Beautiful, look at the feather detail. I wish we could zoom in, up and in, you know, in and out, I guess is what I'm trying to say, on them. That would be really cool to get a good, good idea of the, uh, yeah, how much work they put into the definition. But yeah, wow, that's a, that's a very pretty bird. Definitely going to uh, taxidermize that guy. Throw him in the lodge. Very pretty. Very pretty. All right. We've got many other uh, birds to chase down, Bjorn, too. Come on, buddy. We got to go find some other critters. Now, you might be wondering, are the grouse, ptarmigan, that sort of thing, like, separated by area? So far, from what I've seen, they don't seem to be separated too much. I've seen rock ptarmigan, hazel grouse, black grouse, capercaillie, all in this beginning area, right here, smack dab in the middle. Um, now, maybe that's their area. Maybe they are just, like, in these woods. This is their area. Uh, but I... I will find out, I guess. Oh, no. White-tailed deer making sound over here. We're just switching back and forth. I think that just goes to show truly how many animals are on this map. I mean, I can't walk 40 yards without something doing a mating call towards me or a rabbit making a warning call or better yet a lynx those lynx seem to be everywhere making little calls here and there i'm wondering where the raccoon dogs are aha uh -huh. actually a really nice whitetail there i'm assuming that the other white whitetail over the hill isn't as good as this one so we're just going to drop this dude one behind her might be something there's another buck just standing there doing nothing. Top notch. Well, our first whitetails we found here. Ooh, Rock Tarmigan making a call. He might fly towards us, which we can take a shot at him too. Prepared, but am I ready? Old deer meat for dinner. Okay, top notch. First whitetail here. A little bit narrow on the rack there is all I have to say, but otherwise, very beautiful. Beautiful whitetail deer for our first finish whitetail, eh? It's a monster. Top notch, 211. Not too shabby. And you can see there a good look at that darker background. And you can, I mean, the contrast on the, uh, the animals, they've just really boosted it and it really makes them look amazing on this screen here. I just wish you could zoom in still. We can get a look at the true score, which zooms in a little bit. Right long, left long. That Zara's a 308 penetration, man. That's where it's at. Yep. Top notch. Another white tail. This is a good sized moose there. 1201. I'm telling you, that is just something I've been hearing in the old partner chat on Expansive Worlds. Well, uh, Flinter and Scarecrow and Kilklin keep talking about how many moose they keep seeing. I'm starting to believe those crazy kooks. <laughs> My goodness, we've got a random Capricali that showed up out of nowhere. There you are. Long shot, eh? Nailed her! She's down! Our first look at the Capricali, and uh, it's Butte! Looks like a little, uh, little hawk. <laughs> little dinosaur. Little feathers. Very cool. <laughs> she looks like she's uh, coming up with her next... Uh, philosophical saying, I guess. Discovering gravity or something, I don't know. <laughs> Very cool, though. You know, one thing I'm really noticing as I'm out here is just the illusion of being in a forest and, you know, you, you can't see very far and that sort of thing. It, it's not true. It's honestly well open. It, it's crazy you think of Verhonga or something like that when you think of, like, open terrain and everything, but look around. There's so many trees, but you can see the ground all over. Like, I mean, as far as you look, you can see the ground. There's not much heavy brush that hinders you from seeing the ground around here. As I look further this way, <laughs> it starts to change a little bit. But I'm noticing that a lot as I'm going. Like, if, I, if there's an animal out there, I can see it uh, pretty easily, despite there being trees all over the place. And I think that's uh, that's pretty cool, because um, you start to get into this kind of thing where it's like it's either like an open meadow, 
or it's a forest where you can't see much at all. And, uh, and that's just not the case here. It's nice that they've used so many trees that just don't have a lot of brush at the bottom um, to make it a little bit easier to see things out in the distance. As you can see, the, the trees are starting to change here, um, which could make a, a little bit of difference on visibility. But for now, I still think we can see quite a bit. Whoa! This just came out of nowhere! Just keep hearing things making noises. They're just all around us. What is this thing? There's a, okay, another female rock tarm again. Different coloration, very pretty as well. We've got both the male and female to rock tarm again now. Good deal! Top notch, very pretty though. Whoa! That sounded like it was flying. Oh, I see him! I think we shot the tree. Take flight, Bjorn! Come on! We gotta chase this dude before he lands. Oh, we got him! We actually shot him! That's because I'm a freaking eagle eye. Bullseye bro, that's what I always say. Didn't I didn't hesitate a second. As you could see. As you could see. Is this our black grouse? I think it is our black grouse. I'm telling you what. I am a freaking bullseye. Right in the butt. That's what I always say. <laughs> God, that's bad. Don't quote me on that. A gold! Two! 108.4! Black grouse, look at this chubby little dude. <laughs> That's adorable. And he's got a little chin beard. That's amazing. Oh, very pretty colors too. Almost like a peacock. I would uh, I would take one of those feathers and put it in my hat. I think that would look kind of ridiculous. But hey, I dig it. Throw him in the lodge. Another great, another great find, honestly. All right, we've got a unique opportunity here. I actually have a hazel grouse call. I don't really know how it works, but there is a hazel grouse making a mating call up there, so I feel like we should post up somewhere and give this call a toot. I'm not really sure what it's supposed to do. Alright, here we go. Wow. That was a very high pitch, quiet call. I think the only thing that heard that out here was Bjorn 2 and the Hazel Grouse. What in the world? Now it's down here. Suspense. The suspense is getting to me. There you are. Other ones? I'm guessing the grouse... You're only supposed to shoot grouse in the air? I honestly don't know. Someone tell me... I'm from Kansas. I mean, technically prairie chicken are kind of grouse, but I've never hunted grouse before. Are you supposed to only shoot them in the air? If so, I feel bad about what I just did. <laughs> well, there's our grouse there. Kind of like a big quail. Looks like a giant bobwhite, but just different coloration. That's cool, though. It's a pretty, it's a pretty animal. Pretty animal that we just shot in the brain somehow. <laughs> well, okay, top notch, and we got the female one too. I, uh, I'm like hesitant to not take these female ones because I feel like they might be like in a, in a dual mount somewhere. I feel like that's something we need to go to the trophy lodge and see. Just to, just to make sure we can start keeping these females if need be, but that's a good deal. We've got the hazel grouse now. I think we're down to like 15 animals now, huh? Maybe. <laughs> Ooh, we found more tracks for a western capricali, a male at that. Let's go. I'm going after him. Oh, oh! A bunch of black grouse. Oh my god, they flew away. They were so far away. Whoa! Smoke him? Oh, he's flying. Oh, he- okay! <laughs> I thought he was gonna get away! Is that the Capricali? I think it is! It's the Capricali! We got him! Let's go, boys! Yeah, pose, Bjorn, too. Pose with the Capricali. That's what I'm talking about, bro. Yeah. It always feels good when you know you got your thumbnail for the video! That's the way to do it, Bjorn 2! Very cool, everyone! And a gold! 4.3. Wow, on his way to a diamond? That's not bad. Not bad at all! I'll take him. I'll take him. Well, I tell you what, everyone, if it wasn't for me coming on like half an hour of recording right now, I would keep it going. But we've got 
uh, ptarmigan. We got a couple different grouse, black grouse, hazel grouse, capricali. Um, yeah, we're doing all right at the moment, and we're making our way through all this. I don't want to try to squeeze it all into like a, a really long video, so I think we're going to break it up into chunks, and I hope you enjoyed this. I am. I'm enjoying Revan Tule Coast. I'm enjoying all these birds. I, I'm a bird nut when it came. I was excited about the turkeys, excited about the pheasants, the, the ducks, the geese, and Revan Tule Coast is just crying my name, man. I'm so excited about it. So uh, make sure Hit that like button. Comment down below what you're feeling, how you feel about all this, what you think about the birds and all that. Um, definition of their of their feathers and wings and stuff like that. Uh, love to hear it all. But uh, if you're not subscribed to the BZ Hub, let me plead to you. Subscribe to the BZ Hub. I don't know what you're waiting for. Uh, we've been here for three years. Might as well do it now. Save yourself some time. I think that's going to do it for this episode, everyone. Take care. We're definitely going to be getting to waterfowling here soon because I am super excited about it and i know you are too so take care we'll see you next episode and as always everyone remember we're one planet one family game on